What's going on hikers? In today's video, I have some pieces of gear and maybe some little hacks sprinkled in there that's gonna make your life on trail a whole lot easier. And this is gonna work for you. Some of these, if you're a day hiker, some of these, if you're doing like a through hike, some of you, if you're just doing the weekend backpacking trip. So there should be something for everybody in there. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking and backpacking. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Now my most recent video was about um, different ways that I pretty much light up the trail for myself and I did a giveaway and I have four winners. So if you are one of these four winners, make sure to shoot me a DM on Instagram or shoot me an email. You can find that um, in the about section on this YouTube account. It is Richard Stewart, Eric's Idle Mind, Wayne Dwops, and Leslie's Adventures. So congratulations. If you want those headlamps that I was giving away, make sure to give me your information so I can mail them to you. Now let's get into some of the, some of the ways that I want to help you on trail. So number one, one of my favorite pieces of gear has a million uses. It seems like my wife and I are starting to collect them and it's these buffs. And if you've heard me talk about them before, that's because I absolutely love them. And that's why I have four here right now. Uh, this video is not sponsored, but Hilltop Packs, they're making these face blanket uh, buffs or neck gaiters or whatever you want to call them. And he can print on those. Super cool. A lot of different uses. Um, I like to wear mine as like a headband to keep sweat. Um, a bandana. I also like use it to wipe down condensation inside my tent, um, as well as like clean my dishes. I, I take a little scrubber, but to dry my dishes um, after I get done cleaning them, I wipe them out with my buff. I mean, there's, it, it's like a little rag, but it also does a million other things. So one of my favorite pieces of gear. Number two, we're talking tape. And you're like, what kind of tape? Well, I actually have three different types of tape that I enjoy using on trail. Uh, number one, the easiest to find is probably duct tape. You literally buy it at Walmart and you can put it around your trekking pole, just enough that you think you may need for whatever trip you're going on. And then whenever you need it, you have it there with you. Uh, another tape that I absolutely love, especially if I get blisters, is what's called Luco tape. And if you wanna buy it or if you wanna check it out, it's pretty cheap. I think I got two rolls for 10 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that. Um, and you can just order it online and it works perfect if you have a hot spot or if you have a blister. And this stuff is like a second skin. I mean, it's not coming off. If you want to buy it, um, I'll link it down in the description. And the last type of tape that I like, um, I'll link this too. I'll try to link everything I talk about is what's called tenacious tape. And if you haven't heard of it, this thing, you can see it's like, it actually comes in a long roll, right? And I don't take the whole thing with me backpacking, but last time I went backpacking with some people, which was quite a while back, seemed like everybody was burning their jacket. You're sitting close to the fire, it's cold, and there's sparks popping out and uh, embers burning you. You can see there's some little pieces cut off. That's because uh, my friends were burning their jacket and there's feathers flying out, right? So you can cut this off and it will stick to pretty much anything. You just cut off whatever section you need. It's got a little grid on there and you just stick that over and it's a patch. You can get it in black. I got clear. So if you got a black puffy and you want to keep it kind of stylish, maybe order you some, uh, some of the black tenacious tape, but any one will work. Also like my wife, I don't know what happened, but her sleeping bag in the draft collar, there was a big rip in it and I put Tenacious Tape on it and she's still been using it and never had an issue. I don't know how to sew. So <laughs> Tenacious Tape is about as good as it's gonna get. Number three, this <laughs> looks kind of weird, right? You're like, what is that? You know, is that something, is that an instrument? Nope. This thing is what comes with your saw, your squeeze, if you have one. I have one here with me and you know, I found the best way to filter my water if I'm going to use a sawyer is to either have somebody to hold the bottle and me to squirt the water in there through the sawyer, or I'll put it between my feet and I'll bend over. I'll hold the water bottle between my feet. I'll bend over and I'll stick the end of this sawyer squeeze in the top of the bottle. But it's always flopping around and, um, you know, I'll get my feet wet. So I have found that if you'll take that little tube that's supposed to be for like a gravity fed system, which works fine too, it's just a little heavier. If you will 
attach that tube to the blue coupling that comes on there. And then you can screw this on top of your Sawyer Squeeze or your Mini or whichever one you have. And then this is gonna keep that from flopping out from your bottle and getting your feet wet. Um, I would caution you though to be careful. You need to use, I guess you don't have to, but it makes it a little easier, the O-ring. There's an extra O-ring that comes with your Sawyer or you can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere. That O-ring comes out and water will start <laughs> squirting out over the sides of your Sawyer. Not a huge deal because the water is clean. It's coming out of the filtered end, but it does kind of defeat the purpose of trying not to get your feet wet while, you know, filtering water. So keep that in mind. You could lose the O-ring out of here and you need that <laughs> if you want to use this little hack that I'm showing you. Number four, I take this little gadget gizmo, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's basically a three foot section of paracord. And it's just 550, 550 cord that you could buy at Walmart. And you cut it in a three foot section and burn the tips. Cause if you don't, the cord will kind of start unraveling. Then you just tie a little loop on both ends. And what you can do is you can put this around a tree at whatever height you want and then attach it, like run it through your backpack and attach it with a carabiner or you can literally, you know, stick a stick through the loops and the loop in your backpack. And then your backpack, it's not lying on the ground. It's hanging on a tree at the perfect height for you. And I love doing this because it gets my backpack, I'm a tall guy, right? And it gets my backpack up off the wet ground and it makes it easier just get in there and get whatever I need. So a perfect little hack for you to try out on trail. All you need is a little paracord. Number five on our list is a Duraflame fire starter. <laughs> Can you hear that? It's annoying, right? I was turned onto these by my buddy Jason, backpacking with Jason. He showed me these. We were, uh, you know, backpacking, camping one time. We were making a fire and he was like, hey man, I got something that's going to help you out. And he gave me this little fire starter. And I was like, okay, never used one of these before. Lit it, and this thing burned forever. It smells like lighter fluid, but it burns like a candle. And you know, if you wanna see how I make my fires, the technique I use with digging the little hole under it and stacking the sticks and all that, I'll link a, a video above and you can check that out. And I won't explain the whole process here. But I will just tell you, these things are a lifesaver, especially if you're working with um, some damp tinder or wood or whatever you have around, or it's been rainy or whatever. These things are killer. I highly suggest you buying them um, and just take one or two out with you and try them out. You can get them at Walmart, they're super cheap, or you can order them online. The next thing on our list that's gonna make your life a little easier is my buddy here, the MSR mini groundhog steaks and these i went to jane h landmark and lexington kentucky and bought these before my long trail through hike and they did wonders i don't know i guess it's just cheaper but the tents i buy they always come with these shepherd hook style aluminum or i don't know what kind of metal steaks and they're heavy and they just pull out of the ground for some reason but these things they stick and they're a whole lot lighter um, I've never had a problem with them slipping out of the ground. Um, only thing is like sometimes you'll be around some pines and you may want to tuck it behind a root to keep it from pulling up. But other than that, two thumbs up from me. Again, if you want to check out any information or weight on that gear, you can check it out in the description of the video. I'll link it. I want you to comment and tell me in the comments below, what are some hacks and some pieces of gear that I've missed that you're using on the trail? And we'll try to make uh, maybe an exclusive viewer video just by the comments on the hacks that you guys are using on trail. If you've enjoyed the video, give me one of these, subscribe to the channel, and kick the notification bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you in the next video. What's going on hikers? In today's video, I have some pieces of gear that and maybe some hacks sprinkled in so number one i've been very um, i did a video on how i start my fires 
I went to my local sporting goods store and they had them. Uh, it was J&H Landmark. 